for our uh, scripture reading. I'd like to invite you to turn your Bibles to uh, Jeremiah chapter 7. I would like to read verses 1 through 15. This is what is called the um, um, fuller uh, version of Jeremiah's temple sermon. So that when we study a um, few minutes later, Jeremiah 26, we will be reminded of the message that God gave to his prophet Jeremiah to preach to the people, those who are going to his temple at that time. This sermon is not mentioned in Jeremiah 26, but just a very short version of that. Again, Jeremiah 7, verses 1 through 15. This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Stand at the gate of the Lord's house and there proclaim this message. Hear the word of the Lord, all you people of Judah who come through these gates to worship the Lord. This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. Reform your ways and your actions and I will let you live in this place. Do not trust in deceptive words and say, This is the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord. If you really change your ways and your actions and deal with each other justly, if you do not oppress the alien, the fatherless, or the widow, and do not shed innocent blood in this place, and if you do not follow other gods to your own harm, then I will let you live in this place in the land I gave your forefathers forever and ever. But look, you are trusting in deceptive words that are worthless. Will you steal and murder, commit adultery and perjury, burn incense to Baal and follow other gods you have not known, and then come and stand before me in this house which bears my name and say, We are saved. Safe to do all these detestable things? Has this house which bears my name become a den of robbers to you? But I have been watching, declares the Lord. Verse 12, Go now to the place in Shiloh where I first made a dwelling for my name and see what I did to it because of the wickedness of my people, Israel. While you were doing all these things, declares the Lord, I spoke to you again and again, but you did not listen. I called you, but you did not answer. Therefore, what I did to Shiloh, I will now do to the house that bears my name, the temple you trust in, the place I gave to you and your fathers. And verse 15, I will thrust you from my presence, just as I did all your brothers, the people of Ephraim. 